Good morning everyone. As you can see, we got some fencing. This is six foot tall fencing. It is welded wire. The reason we chose this is one, it's easier to work with. Two, it's not going to contain any animals. All it is is a barrier to keep deer, rabbits, and guineas out of my garden. And we do have 100 foot of this already up. As you can see, there it is. It's going all the way around. Jim's going to the corner we stopped at. And we're going to bring it around this side. All around the uh, um, carrots and everything. So we are working on this right now. It's definitely a two-person job. So I am helping him. Tundra, come on. Come. And the garden is doing fantastic. I am still struggling keeping guineas out, which is one of the reasons... We're working on this fence. But I got tons of zucchinis coming in, guys. Tons of them. The big flower right there. All right, we'll bring you an update. This is really not much to report on, but it's what we're doing because we really feel it needs to be done. And there's trouble out there. Trouble, you better get back here. We, are, we will have two gates. Our gate will stay where it was before we shifted it so it lines up with this aisle. We're trying to keep this aisle consistent throughout the garden so that we can bring the gorilla cart through or wheelbarrow. We are still trying to get this done. Unfortunately, we really don't have enough uh, composted goat bedding to work with a whole lot. So we can only do so much, sadly. And then this will be my second gate, and this gives us access out to give garden scraps to the chickens, which are right there, as well as access compost, which is right there where we do our composting. So that's kind of the thought and the game plan here. Right now the fence is up where the gate will be because we've got to keep these guineas out. So that's why this is still fenced off. When we get the wood ready to frame this in, We'll frame it in, cut the wire, and then secure the fence so it doesn't lose all the tension. And we have definitely some high and low spots. One of my problems is rabbits because we seem to have a huge rabbit population this year for whatever reason. So that is an ongoing problem. Did you find me, buddy? Donkey found me. I think my puppy ran off. Alright, I gotta call the dog back. Okay guys, I'm going to show you where we got for today. And I pulled a lot of what I call weeds along the outside of the garden beds. I don't get weeds inside my garden beds as a norm. But I get a lot of these invasive trees that want to grow up. I put a pile here to throw into the chickens. Chickens do eat them. But you can see my fence line. It's going all the way down. We got it to this corner. And um tundra's with me right now we had to dig out a little bit because there's a big divot here so we dug that out to drop the fence line just a little bit and then we got it over to the hay shed i don't know if you can see it but it's laying all which way because it's not secured we did not secure this because over on this side well, i'll show you we ran into a big fire ant nest and poor jim got them all over his legs so we are done for the day. This is where I planted my uh, blackberries. And so far nothing, guys. I'm getting tired of spending good money on plants and then they don't do anything. See all that powder? That's diatomaceous earth. And there's a big tree stump here. And when he stood up in there to work this roll wire, he didn't know it was full of ants. And they're all over his legs now. So that's where we stop for the day. Hopefully this doesn't fall. It's lean pretty good between the shed and this post. And uh, we couldn't even tie this off because it was going to just put a, like a strap on it to hold it for the day. There's too many ants down there. And if you get enough of those ant bites, you are absolutely miserable. I can tell you that from experience. So that's where we end it for today. Hopefully tomorrow our game plan is to get it around this post. And all the way past our new hay shed up to the next gate. So that's the goal. And that's what we're working on. Alright, we'll be back tomorrow. Hey 
Guys, I'm going to give you the final update on the garden fence. We have one roll left over. We bought 300 feet of fence. The majority of the existing, I should say the whole existing garden is fenced in. We're still doing some finish work here. I've got a gate now, as you can see. The gate still needs to, a little more reinforcement. We're working on it. We're getting there. Oh, looks like he's got it latched somehow, which I have no idea what he did. Looks like I can't get in my garden. He's got it wired shut. For whatever reason, somebody would do something like that. I don't know. All right, I'm going to figure that out before I can show you. But you can see this, the fence line here is done. It goes all the way around now. But I'm still having something still getting in my garden. So it must be coming underneath the wire somewhere. And it's still digging my zucchini patch right here. So we're still dealing with that. But as you can see, I now have a door. So that is done. So that secures it from... The guineas have not been in here since we put the fence up. So the fence is definitely a deterrent to them. And they can fly in. So that help, has helped that problem. And we also have, you see, right through here, my compost pile has gotten huge. I have a helper today who's mucking my... Uh, goat kennel out for me so we're getting stuff done today all right guys hope you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and have a blessed day see you on the next video